Uh, namaste guys so in this video we are going to make this mechanism in blender okay so before i start make sure that you have blender 2.9.3 or 2.93 version the question is why 2.93 why not 3.1 uh, the reason is that this add-on gear gen master only work on blender version less than 3.0 so that is the reason i am recommending you so please bear with it okay so first thing that we need is we need gears so i will go to the add mesh and click on gear and master test now what kind of gear we want let's say i need spur gear and increase the number of gear as per your requirement uh, in my case i am going to add 35 teeth and i am go going to increase the width okay so i think this much is fine after that i will select this by pressing 7 go to the add mesh click on gear and master and make the number of teeth 35 as well okay so i have the teeth now gears now what i have to do is uh, select these two press r x 90 now basically what i want to do is uh, i want to basically add some you know thing to so that when this gear rotate this gear will also rotate so how can i do that so there is a easy way car drivers so I will click on this. You can see there is something here. So press Ctrl A and apply rotation. Similarly, select this. Press Ctrl A and apply rotation. So I want to rotate along Y axis. So you can see this is a Y axis. So I will, okay. So what I will do? Right click on it. Click on Copy as New Driver. Select this gear. Right click on it and click on Paste Driver. So if I rotate this, you can see. I am getting the gear animation but they are not right so what I can do uh, move it apart go to drivers select this click on Y press N driver click on scripted expression all I have to do is just type minus if I select this gear and rotate you can see I am getting the correct gear animation and this is basically what I want uh, some people will say that hey I can use of yeah, constraints uh, I don't recommend use constraints because after 360 degree rotation you will get a garbage animation so don't use uh, constraints okay now after that what I have to do is I have to add bevel gears so go to add mesh and click on gear and master test and this time I will choose bevel gear so how many number of teeth I want let's say 20 and 20 here as well okay after that what i will do i will select this press r x and 90 select this press shift s selection to cursor g pi and move it up uh, forward as per your requirement uh, let's say G, Y and little backwards. Now, after that, select this gear. Go to the add mesh and click on gear gen test. Make sure that you first select the gear and after that you go here. Okay. And we will. Okay. So, now I got this gear. Just increase the whole diameter because whole diameter is quite small and I don't like it. Okay. After that, uh, what I will do? I will rotate X. Sorry, not X. Uh, rotate Y to this place and make sure to check that your gear are machine or not. So they are not properly matched. So R Y. So just make it correct place. By pressing shift and you know moving your mouse you can uh, you can control little variations or like this kind of gear. Now they look fine. Select this, press tab, press 2 for the edge mode, press ctrl R, scale it down. Go select face section mode, press C. Sorry, not the this must press C and uh, 
okay not a not correct exactly enter e texture it now this looks okay to me after that uh, this is the thing that you have created now one thing that i will do is uh, select this gear and by pressing shift select this one press ctrl p click on object so if i select this one and rotate you can see this gear is rotating but i also want to rotate this gear so how can i do that so y is not a threat x is also not a threat okay press ctrl z z is also not a threat press ctrl z ctrl z so select this and press ctrl a and apply rotation remember i am applying rotation so I'll select this uh, x is not the right one y is also not the right one z is also not the right one okay i have made a mistake i guess press x and delete uh, so the reason i have deleted it uh, i am not able to get the correct axis so how can i approach this problem correctly so here let's see how to approach this so go to the add mesh click on gauge and master test click on be well gear it automatically comes up and increase the hole diameter so first thing that i'm going to see is which one is correct so if i select this gear y is not the correct one so press zero x is not the correct one press ctrl z hmm. press ctrl z okay we got some issues here press ctrl a and apply rotations so what i'm going to do let's make x0 first z0 as well don't worry about it i know it's uh, but now i know that if i rotate along z axis i am getting the correct gear rotation if i want but it is not correctly aligned so how i approach this watch carefully uh, first i am going to do is select this gear press 7 on my numpad okay, not 7 uh, press r z first i will make sure that my teeth are meshing okay now my teeth are properly meshing uh, good now first thing we have achieved so press a and apply rotation okay now what we have to do is select this gear select this gear press ctrl p object so if i move this gear like this select this and try to rotate it you can see i am able to still get the z axis and this is basically what i want so first thing that i will do is select this gear in relations i will press ctrl z what i want i want just that it will leave here the um, that gear will be just set there so 135 degree y axis so if i cross this select this 135 okay and zero. Mm. issues so make it zero let's try a better approach click on add 
plane plane axis now what i will do i will go here select this and select the empty press control p object select this and select this press control p object so i will select this one uh, i will select this here 105 uh, this sense is right Zero. press alt p clear par uh, clear and keep transformation make sure that you use this one clear and keep transformation so if i select this one you can see my that is still working so i will make up to this point remember guys problems are the part of life you can't run from it same goes for me so press ctrl a and apply rotation after that what i will do i will select this gear and in this case uh i will take the y so let's make it zero press ctrl z for a second select this one and make it zero and rotate set um, like this one press ctrl a rotation now what i'm going to do is uh, select select this gear right click copy as driver select this right click on z axis paste driver so if i try to rotate it let's see whether it's working or not wow it's working correctly fine that the, the way i want Now select this gear, press tab, press 2 for the selection mode, press A, press Ctrl R, scale it down, go to the face selection mode, press C, enter. Now what I will do by pressing Alt Shift, select the interface, press Shift D, Enter P by selection. Press S and Z. S Z. Click objects, set origin to geometry, G, Z, scale it down, G, Z, scale Z. What I will do, press S and press Shift Z. Not Shift set. Uh, press S and Z. G set. Press tab. Press A. Press Control R. Move this upward like this. Press A, press Ctrl R.
press 2, select this edge, press Ctrl F, grid fill, and press A, press Ctrl R. So instead of making blades here, what I will do, I will basically make separate blades. So select all these, press H to hide them so that I don't mess this file. So I will click on cube. Press A, uh, press tab, press A, control R. Press A, press control R. One G X scale set E Y scale it a little bit E Y E Y scale it down a little bit zero. Tab, press A, press Ctrl R, add some loop cuts. Select so this, press Ctrl A and apply all transforms. Press Ctrl S, sorry, Ctrl A and apply scale, apply scale only, not nothing else. So select this and click on simple deform, simple deform, bend. Empty 001, rotate by. Rotates. Let's see how does it look like now. So I think this looks like good for a blade design point of view. Select this press control A, click on Shade Smooth. Press Alt Touch to, so that we can see all the assembly. As you can see, a that work is quite big. So let's scale it down. Press G. Okay. Select this. Uh, select the blade. Go here and apply this modifier. Now press G to move it. Rotate Z. What I'm going to do is select this, uh, select this shaft, shift S, cursor to be selected, select this, shift S, selection to cursor, press 1, select this and go here, y axis, not y axis, z axis, not z axis, x axis. Okay. 
minus 45 i think is fine g z g x y s g y Like this, press shift D, rotate Z, ninety degree, uh, one eighty, I guess. G Y, uh, one thing that I have to do is select these two. Select this one, press Ctrl P and select this one and select this one, press Ctrl P as well. Press Ctrl Z, select this one and select this one, press Ctrl P, object keep transforms, press Ctrl Z, press Ctrl P, Ctrl Z, uh, select this one. Ctrl P Object when I do object, you know I am not getting the correct result. If I click on keep transforms, okay, I am still getting issues. Press Ctrl Z. So how will I resolve this issue? I think it's already connected and I just make it not problems as you can see. Now how I will make on this side so instead of you know working hard again like an idiot or making this again what i will use i will use mirror command so let's see how to do it but for mirror command i need to apply exactly exactly in the middle of it so how can i find the middle of exactly so select this click on edit here so i'm just checking number of teeth is 35 module is 0.2 great so press control set so i will click on add empty planes press control that first shift as cursor to world origin click on add empty plane axis now how much i want i need a calculator so it must be 0 0.2 into 35 7 meters so i will ask 7 meter 7 divided by 2 that is 3.5 you can see it's exactly in the middle of it that basically what uh, so basically the 3.5 is something called pitch circle or pitch radius okay so if i use 7 that is pitch circle diameter of a gear it's a mechanical link term but i don't know how many of you guys like so i'm not going to go in depth of it now what i will do select this gear mirror 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 Tell me who is the most idiot person in the world. Oh, it's me. Uh, so it's empty 002. Select so this. Mirror. About empty 002. Okay, looks good to me. Mirror. Empty 002. Select so this. Let's by pressing shift press select these two press control J join them. Let's see whether it's working or not first. Yep, it's working great. Now select this one and go to the modifiers. Where is the mirror? And zero zero two. And voila, here we have reached. <sighs> took me life so if i now try to do animation looks good right now let's see how good our animation is so if i zoom in and see that our gear is animation or not you can see that there is not a even a single you know intersection here so this is the level of accuracy work we have done guys
okay now come to rendering part uh, in which basically i am a garbage so let's try to you know coloring them and let's see how much bad i can make this product so that's this one and let's increase the metallic let's decrease the roughness let's change this color to blue or something go here select this material as well select this one and make it green because as i told you earlier that i am very bad with colors also with my life choices and decrease the roughness select this one let's give them same color select this one and metallic 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 looks great let's remove this color and add another let's make it blade totally black i normally saw the blades totally black right so this is how to flex let's add some um, environment texture open download texture texture Is at ZX View 3D camera. What will be the best angle or to you know render it? I don't know. Right? I'll just go my camera. So if I click on render image, this is how to collect. Let's select this material. Add. so this is how we got up to this point now if you want the better quality i recommend you cycles but cycles will basically burn my computer so i don't use cycles a lot really <laughs> Um, let's say 20 because I don't want to burn my computer
so that's for all guys i hope you like this video if you have any kind of doubts guys feel free to ask thanks for watching and have a great day namaste oh i totally forgot to do one thing uh, that basically how to add uh, animation to this so what i have to do is go to timeline uh, timeline select this gear uh, go here uh, okay make it zero first and click on this button now after that go to 150 okay and make it 360 or you can go also 180 and type 360 after that click on here and make it up to 180 degree so and select this press t and click on linear so click on play so you can see my gear animation see how beautifully they are meshing with each other 